My mother likes to read Stephen's tour dates and then she likes to message me how the weather is going to be in the city that we're going to or something else. She sent me a text the other day, a link to an article that said there's a serial killer on the loose in Austin, Texas. Johnny looked it up too. His, he has a name. He's the Rainy State Killer or something, Rainy Lake Killer. It's a, a water walkway and 10 people have been fished out of there in the last year. The, the locals are calling it a serial killer and they're demanding more lighting and more emergency police call um, uh, boxes so they can catch it. The police are saying it is not a serial killer. It's really just a bunch of drunk idiots falling in the water. They say it's very dark out there. And it's very uh, wet and people are drunk. And so anyway, the, the first thing I thought when I heard there was a serial killer is who better to get on the case and find the serial killer. But uh, uh, me and Johnny Monaco. Austin, Austin, Texas. Look at all these guitars. Fantastic. This is the uh, baggage claim. We're looking for baggage or Found. I never really thought of Austin being known for all these guitars, but there is the famous Janis Joplin piece of my heart. You were looking for it. Yeah, we're checking in. This is called the Wood Spring Sweets. Man's having key bombs already. There you go. All right, here we go. 227. What could this place be like? Johnny's not expecting much. He usually is an oil. Johnny, you're gonna like this one. This is like a button of sweets. <laughs> a hot plate. <laughs> Look at that phone. This is definitely, I'm not jumping on this, but. Is the, oh, the clock is good. Definitely a place where people come to die. And what are you gonna do? The venue is supposed to be literally across the street. As you can see, my view, as usual, is fantastic, beautiful. We're gonna go eat under that freeway. When in uh, Texas, you have to have uh, Tex Mex. So we're going to a place called Chewy's. I would be myself, uh, Matt Thorne, and Johnny Monaco, who are wearing matching uh, winter parkers of some sort. I didn't get the notice. Um, it's going to be right here. Johnny, they have a big is your face burrito. Okay, I mean, well, you don't have the biggest face. I'm going to have that, uh, that ground beef burrito with the sauce. Oh, you already know what you're having? You want the ranch Jesus. burrito? Tex Max, that's as big as your face burrito. Yeah. It's really hard to push you out a bigger they face. Don't, they don't know how to not put you in the face. Yeah. 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 Tex Max, they have to have food. Okay, yeah. Hold on, let me hide this kid. I got the same thing as you. Yeah. Well, I can buy mine or child. Sad. I have no idea. I think that's the Dalai Lama. Maybe John Wayne is Elvis. Tex Max. Swan. I haven't lived until you were serious. Here in uh, Boston, I try to take a shortcut. But I went through my hair looks like Tracy Guns today. Yeah, I went through some kind of cover and I heard lots of toads. And uh John this Wood Spring Swim Sweets. All I wanted was a beverage and this machine only gives you uh, I, think, I don't know how much. It looks like a little slot machine. Four what happened, John? Yeah, four dollars and change, but not even like silver dollars or uh, Kennedy nickels. <laughs> Bullshit. I don't like this town. Oh, he just wanted to get Johnny a year. When I was growing up in New York City, Yuhu was one of the greatest beverages ever. And the Johnny Ramon, he loved it. He had a Johnny Ramon Yuhu t shirt. I can't have it, it's too sweet. But. Uh, why don't you get my head caught? <laughs> Johnny Monaco 
in the tradition of uh, Johnny Ramon, excuse me. Where is it? It's in the right corner. What do you mean? You can't find it? Oh. <laughs> uh, and, and now... Uh, get my head stuck in there. We're going to look for the... We've heard there's a serial killer. Let's shake him up. I think you shake it. You, of course. And enjoy. I think that's the second yeah. step. I don't know about that part. Where are we going? Remember, we're outside looking for the killer. Okay, well, let's do it. Remember when um, there was a myth back in the day when someone said they drank a whole yu at the bottom they saw a spider? Well, I don't know how you'd see it in there, though. Well, that's not. Okay, here we go. Oh, hi, hoy. Close for business, apparently. Johnny, I think we found the killer. <laughs> 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 we found the serial killer in two minutes. <laughs> That's the end of that video. All right. When my mother, my mother likes to read Stephen's tour dates, and then she likes to message me how the weather is going to be in the city that we're going to, or something else, or talk about things that really don't matter. She sent me a text the other day, uh, nothing explaining. She just sent me a link to an article that said there's a serial killer on the loose in Austin, Texas. Johnny looked it up too. His, he has a name. He's the Rainy State Killer or something. Rainy Lake Killer. There's a uh, lake uh, or a river. It's a, a water walkway. And 10 people have been fished out of there in the last year. The, the locals are calling it a serial killer. And they're demanding more lighting and more emergency police call um, uh, boxes so they can catch it. The police are saying it is not a serial killer. It's really just a bunch of drunk idiots falling in the water. They say it's very dark out there and uh, um, and it's very uh, wet and people are drunk. And so anyway, the, the first thing I thought when I heard there was a serial killer is who better to get on the case and find the serial killer but uh, uh, me and Johnny Monaco. So here we are. We are going to, uh, 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 there must be a reward. I think the reward is you get to leave the state. And if there is a serial killer, he's for sure staying at our hotel and not the good one that's uh, one football field away. And in true venue fashion, there's a nice hotel there. And then there's a shit box here. The Hyatt House. Yeah. And we're staying at the They're at the, the Riot House. Yeah. And so the venue happens to be right behind that Hyatt, Johnny. Yeah, of course it is. Wouldn't that make more sense to put us in the hotel right behind I it? I bet if I call it, they save like 20 bucks per person. These venues like to save money. But anyway, we're going to find this serial killer. He might be at the venue right now waiting. Um, I was telling Johnny, my only real knowledge of Texas is a song called Bullet by the Misfits. I played it for him while we awaited his Yoo-Hoo. These machines are very smart these days. They steal your money. Put in $5 and you got five dollars back in, in pennies <laughs> Stupid. anyway it's beautiful here in austin i'm exaggerating it's really nothing but uh anyway here we go where if johnny if you were a serial killer where would you be las vegas no not if you were the rainy side murderer well i don't know this area very well but this kind of looks like there could be something somewhere right now. Yeah. johnny we would be heroes Johnny, if we find the serial killer, do you think there's any chance it's Eric? No one appreciates anything anymore. They would probably give us like a... Key of the city? Uh, a fancy thank you. Or whatever they call that. Super. There's a, a super thanks. Super thanks. That's yeah. all we'd get? Thank you for catching our serial killer. Thank you. We are going to give you uh, 500 points on your Southwest trip. Right. <laughs> Look at the moon, Johnny. It's a full moon for a serial killer. That's a big day. It's a big day. Somebody. Oh shit, if he got our serial killer, what else are we gonna do? We're not gonna find anything. No. We can't find our ass. Johnny, what would happen if we actually run into the serial killer? If we run into him, he's probably gonna be a fan of the band. And he, he, he'd be like, you know, I wanna come to this show. And I'm well, if you wanna come, it's fine, but okay, when's your last killing? Right. Well, like, I got two. And then I gotta get on the other side of town, so I'm trying to throw the cops off. All right, we'll come after you're done with the first one. Stop by for a little bit. Clean up. All right, definitely clean up. Watch the rest of the band, then you can go to your second one. Yeah. And then he'd be like, I'm a genius. Don't tell anybody what's going on. I think he might say, Wait a second, you're the custard guys. I watched that. They're not watching. The serial killers don't have time to watch TV, they're, they're killing people. 
Well, he only kills like once in a while. Over here. It looks like a routine uh, DUI. You think they caught him? <laughs> or it's the serial killer. They stole our business. This, anyway, this is a nice hotel. Let them go. And then the hotel next to it is it, our check hotel. Check the trunk. <laughs> They're gonna come for us next. Um, anyway, we're here. Yeah, and you just get to put a direction, they're gonna drive right into the cap car. When we go ahead. Anyway, uh, so do you think that's the venue? I'm, I mean, uh, maybe. Well, we should see if they we have. Should pull over again. Yeah, I think so too. Well, we thought. It wasn't okay. You yeah, we, over again. we thought you were okay, but in fact, uh, you were not. How? <laughs> right now. Right now, Michael Myers is walking around looking for something to do after his killings, and uh, well, let's see what's playing. Well, Cooper Allen. You know Cooper Allen? He's very good. How about I change it around and we come and see uh, the Looper clan? You hear that? <laughs> Bats. <laughs> Can we change it? Yeah. Oh, God. Uber clan? <laughs> the funny thing is they wouldn't notice this for three months. <laughs> yeah, well that's better. <laughs> the time is the Uber clan go on. <laughs> that's pretty good. Where are your roads? Mm -hmm. Nice, well we did our part, you get that? This is like a bad Scooby-Doo mystery. So this is the venue. Well, I wouldn't buy a ticket. I would just stand right here. That's the stage. You know bats? That's a vampire bat. Slaughter is here. And he's freely is here. Oh, O-Town, Ryan Cabrera. I'm gonna ask Dana Strump if he's staying here. Staying at the highest place. Why would they put us over there? Was it their choice? Well, here, let's, let's see if we can get in. I think it's protected by bats. There, there's a Hooper clan. Oh, uh, yeah. He's good. Well, here it is. This is how you get in. And uh, is that the stage right there? No, the stage is right here. Yeah, outside. There, yeah. It's like outside. Yeah, it's I told you. In the trees. Yeah. It, it's going to be a high of 51 degrees. A little high right now myself. Uh, anyway, here it is. This is exciting. We're here early for sound check. This looks like a, like the inside of a truck. Johnny, if we're going to catch the serial killer, we have to think like a serial killer. You watch Dexter. Where do you think he's at? I mean, we have to go down to the actual place where he's doing the killings. He ain't right. hanging out over here at the Wood Spring Suites. You think he's right? Not a killer around here. <laughs> but, uh, maybe, but look at that truck right there. Don't you think a serial killer would be in that? No, oh, for sure, because they, they, they travel, so they're right. not in one spot. It's hard to track them. Right. We're going to find this guy, and we're going to bring him to justice. I, I think he should. I just don't understand why we have to play outside. It's March, and it's like 45 degrees out. You know, we have to play in that. While there's a serious act. You heard that, right? Yeah. It's a weird town. Very yeah. strange. Do you know the name of this actual town? Wood Spring. Uh, Cedar Park. Yeah, Cedar Park. Yeah. Definitely a serial killer around here. How's the Yubu? You know what? Not as good as it used to be. Yeah. I bet you they took out like some good chemical in it. Well, I thought it would be a little more frothy. My toupee looks terrible. Oh, yeah. Well, that big red I had, that drink big red, supposed to be like cream soda. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not familiar with not big good. red. I thought they, they call you that because you're jagged, but. No, it's not, then it wasn't good. Yeah. Johnny, a lot of the black women on, on the plane, they, they love that jacket. Yeah, I know they stuck a couple of them stuff. Yeah, they, everywhere we go, uh, they like Johnny. Get my money's worth. Yeah. Yeah, so there's the hotel that makes sense. Yeah. And then here's where we are. Mm -hmm. I promise no continental breakfast. And we have to play outside. That's the worst part of this whole thing. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't mind playing if it's hot out. Yeah. But I just don't like playing in the cold weather. The guitars don't stay in tune. Your hands get all cold and clammy. You can't, you know, play right. Yeah. It's kind of wet. It kind of feels kind of wet almost out. 
Here we go. Johnny, what if the serial killer is staying on our floor? And cooking a, a, a curry? They should put that smell. I wish this key would have got me into the Hyatt house. Mm -hmm. Look at this, it stinks in here. Serial killer? It smells like a combination of a pet store and food. I'm listening for all this shit. Look at the dirt floor. <laughs> Some <laughs> asshole. You, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. you think he's you think Matt Thorne could be the serial killer? I mean, maybe. He looks kind of like a Dexter type. Yeah, he does. Kinda. But how would he get to Austin so often? Well, maybe he figures nobody would assume it was him. Uh -oh. That's up there. You can hear him walk out. Serial killer? Look at the ceiling. It's like in Grandpa's basement. They, they don't even have regular ceilings. Those are drop ceilings. You hear everything. This place is the worst. This, so, is, this yeah. is the place that you stay at when you've failed in life. Yeah. I was thinking, here we are. And next door is where you go when you have meetings and business yeah. stuff. Yeah. Not when you're playing an outdoor yeah, puppet. Apple pay everything. Now, this is my room, 227. Johnny, you really don't remember the show 227? I know it is. Someone in my room? <laughs> I'm in here. Serial <laughs> <Sarah> killer? <laughs> Come in, don't mind that straight razor. 227 was a show with Marla Gibbs. Those the shows are not for you. <laughs> but... <laughs> We're gonna catch that serial killer. You can't sneak around here, listen to it. It's two o'clock, it might as well be 6 a.m. And uh, we're still on the hunt for the serial killer. Um, I feel like we're staying in the place that the serial killer would stay, so that's close. We're getting into the mind of the serial killer. Now, uh, sometimes at these shows, people just send their friends to pick you up, and it's nice that they do that, but Johnny and I have decided to walk to the gate. You can see Johnny walking right there. Now, I hear sound checking of sorts. That's always good, because a lot of times... You walk into these gigs that they say they're ready, and uh, they're not. We found the serial. We found the serial killer. Um, but a lot of times you get to these gigs and nothing's ready. The drums are all in cases. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not for everybody. Now, anyway, uh, hopefully they're a little bit ready. We'll see how it goes. Wonder if anybody fixed the sign. Uh, the answer will be no. I mean, I suppose it's nice out here. Some of these cities, when you get to them, there's really nothing to do or nothing to see. It's advertised that we're playing in Austin, but this is really uh, Cedar something. And... Uh, and so there's really nothing to see, although Chris Kirkpatrick will be here with Ryan Cabrera and LFO. I know town. But there's really nothing to see. Johnny making friends. All right, so the venue is here, and John is going to show us uh, the, the dressing room, which is also a studio, which is across this way. Sometimes that would help. Sometimes it's better to have the dressing room further away you don't have to be around all the riffraff, hear all that loud rock and roll music that the kids are playing. But, uh, yeah, so we are very close, though. You see, there's the hotel. There's the venue. And uh, coming up here, uh, Green Acres. The dressing room. Yeah, nice. It's like the, the bat cave. Right. Wow, look at this back here. Yeah, I think I found the serial killer. <laughs> yeah. You know there's a serial killer here. It's and yeah, I've been looking it up, but I think we got this is a good for look at that cat. It's a good It's a good looking cat. Just chilling. Alright. Best cat I've ever had. Like that, he just showed up. Yeah, still got that's what they do. Right. <laughs> the cat chooses you, you don't choose the cat. That's exactly right. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Mm. So it's a good light and it's a beautiful sunny day. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'll show you here. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. This is the record I spoke to. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, all right. Nice. We got y'all set up all over here. All the deli stuffs in here. Great. Right. Everyone can play. Steven can play video games you before. Yeah, if you're right. You you watch watch the deli. Coffee. That's the most important. He'll be happy when that's there. Yeah. And it's perfect. Well, what a cool little place. Right. Yeah, man. I'm so glad to have you. I knew. I knew we'd. Uh, when I talked to you. Wow. Nice architecture. Right. It's pretty cool, man. Oh, I can't wait to show you the studio. But y'all don't really need the showers, but there's two no, showers. No, no. It's there. cool though. Yeah. How's it? I'd love to show it to you. Yeah, let's take a look. Because, well, yeah, probably don't need it. Maybe you do. Washer, dryer. If you don't need to do any clothes. There's another little bathroom here. Mm -hmm. Here's the baby. Here's our baby. We built this ourselves, man. Um, wow, look at this. You so would not expect this to be sitting back here. Right. This used to be like a proper, oh, just a suburban style house. And we just, you know, they you know, can like get it. So it used to be like the live room. Right. And uh, we can dampen this tile sort of verb thing and heat it down if we want. This baby grand's probably gonna go in there in that piano room zone. We got old B3 with the Leslie. Super nice, man. Yeah, look at that. How cool. The roads. Yeah. How cool. So here's like a nice stove. Uh, yeah. This is my favorite right here. Let's talk about Batcave. Uh oh. Wow, look at that. Secret doors, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to see it here, but yeah, that's very cool. Put some lights on, couldn't Ah, that's all right. And then we have a little room here and the console. Yeah, so How cool. Got, yeah, we got this Neve 5088. Yeah. We got Shady, he, uh, he does all Willie Nelson stuff for like oh, the last nice. 25 years. So, this is my engineer. Very cool. Be out of control. Yeah. Okay. Right, so yeah, we're, we're taking the tour and a nice bar in here and this is going to be uh, the meet and greet room and you can see out here this is a cool little place there's the stage and uh hey, hey, all right let's see hey, what, uh, hey, and now you're going to show hey, where the merch is hey, yeah, hey, i'll follow you hey, hey. Yeah, basically, uh, that gate's closed and locked. That's the front entrance, so uh, this little setup here, this little deck. Johnny, how's the looping been going? Forget this rock and roll shit. How's, how's the looping going? As we all know, looping is the future. Are you prepared to loop if you had to tonight? I'm not looped tonight. <laughs> if they needed it. If there's, a, if there's a moment that I should loop, I will. Right. Well, that's the... You took the looper's code, and so you are standing by to loop at any time, if necessary. Rig rundown. Ron Zeller. This is Ron Zeller's looper. Mark Sanchez's looper is uh, my other metal board. That's the backup one, the second one. Yeah. Oh, it's just a different one. Different rig. Yeah, bigger, bigger. Yeah. Anyway, so if you're looking for the rig rundown, there it is. All right, here's the venue, and you can hear the uh, tracks from Motley Crue playing because we all know they don't play live. Uh, Johnny and I are having uh, tacos. Uh, yeah, one in Rome. Cool place. Looking forward to it here in Texas. much today sometimes I like how to use the word film like that's the thing I didn't record too much but uh, anyway it was a good show and this place was very organized we had a great meet and greet with a lot of nice people now I'm gonna walk through the, uh, the you can see I'm still in hot pursuit of the serial killer but uh, I'm also in hot pursuit of pizza look at this view bizarre right you don't always have the most normal dressing room situations. It is definitely 
serial killer in here and uh, I intend to find him. Let's just see what's going on. Last house on the left. This is definitely the record for worst uh, bed traveling. If you look, this might as well have been a, a military cot. It's not a box springer. That's it. Rush. We're in the Austin airport. It says that this is an inter-imaginary departure and installation. It's, oh, look who's here having an experience. Oh boy. Johnny, this is a... Uh, I, I, I don't really get it. <laughs> Interimaginary. This is connected to the ground. <laughs> oh, the way I want you to run off with it. This is an internet. They said it's an alternate universe. What's in there? It's an imaginary universe. This is an interimaginary portal. It's definitely not an exit. It doesn't open? No. What's the fucking point? Stupid. Stupid. Everything there is to do. It's not to go fuck itself. Austin. Taking a long walk in Austin. Johnny, it's Easter Sunday. And we have risen. We have risen to be here in the airport. Yeah. I feel like in the airport right now, there are a lot of Jews and a lot of atheists. Yeah. Some are both. <laughs> Emergency in the airport. Everything's gone crazy. I believe that Christ is risen and he's here in the airport. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what this means. Johnny? These guys look like it's very serious. No, no one takes anything serious, Johnny. This could be the end of days. Oh, well, that's the end of it. 